Last year around Halloween, several clown sightings were reported all over the country. Everyone was unsettled by the idea of creepy clowns standing in wooded areas and staring as cars or pedestrians walked by. It seems this year, the trend has spread like wildfire, and even worse, the clowns have begun to do more than just stand and stare. Some clowns have started chasing down people on walking trails, chasing cars going down dark roads, creating social media pages to threaten schools, robbing both stores and individuals, and allegedly even luring children into the woods with promises of cash or candy. But another aspect of the clown frenzy that we have to think about is, who are the true creepy clowns and who are just thugs and drug addicts piggybacking on this in order to not be caught? Everyone should take precaution this year, as clowns seem to be popping up all over the nation and truly could be a threat to your safety. These five stories show just how dangerous and creepy these clowns can be. Throughout the video, I will also be playing videos from people who have recorded their alleged clown encounter. Keep in mind the stories I'm narrating and the videos you're seeing on screen are not connected to each other, but they're all from this year and are very recent as well as the stories. Now that that's out of the way, let's begin. Number 5. Clowns Luring Children There have been several cases of clowns luring children into wooded areas, but several of them have been deemed false. One case in Winston-Salem, North Carolina had a little more proof to back it up than other reports. Two children and one adult were walking near the outskirts of the woods when the children wandered a little too close to the entry of the woods. They claim a clown wearing white overalls and a red wig came up to them and offered them candy or money if they came into the woods with him to play. The adult overheard the male voice and ran up to get the children. The clown quickly ran the opposite way before the adult could catch a glimpse. Officers say there was no proof of a clown in the woods, but it wasn't completely impossible as the clown could have parked a car at a separate entrance and fled the scene before a unit arrived. Apparently, later that day, an anonymous phone call alerted police that the same clown was back in the same wooded area, but once again there was no sign when officers arrived. Number 4. Sex Offender in Costume one of the most notorious serial killers and rapists in history doubled as a clown for children's parties. Not to mention countless adults have admitted that they were either raped or molested by a party clown during their childhood. It isn't unusual for pedophiles and rapists to take jobs that allow them to get closer to their victims. But the idea of a sick and twisted rapist sporting a clown costume to get closer to women or children makes it all the more unsettling. Take that horrible image and put it on a walking trail in a wooded area and you've got a pure nightmare. A Winchester woman was jogging down a walking trail one morning when she was attacked by a man wearing a full clown suit. Winchester police have yet to release the name or age of the woman attacked or any possible suspects. According to the victim, she was jogging down the trail when the clown jumped out from a bush-covered area and tried to drag her into the woods while simultaneously trying to pull her pants down. She was able to fight him off by injuring his leg. She then sprinted to the safety of her car and called 911. Winchester police are certain this attack was carried out by a sex offender and are investigating their registry, as well as looking for signs of someone with a leg injury. The Winchester Police Department, as well as local newspapers, have published and posted safety tips in relation to walking trails, sexual assault, and, of course, the recent rise in clown sightings. Number 3. Clown Shoots Man A Houston man was sitting alone in his apartment around 11 p.m. when the door was thrown open and a man in a clown suit came charging in. He pistol whipped the resident and shot him in the head. Luckily, the bullet only grazed the back of his neck and was not a fatal shot. The clown began to run off but quickly came back. He ransacked the apartment and stole under $100 in cash before fleeing the scene without a word. The resident claimed that he doesn't believe the attack was truly robbery-based, and that it was more of an afterthought to cover the true nature of this creepy crime, mostly because of the way the clown returned as if he forgot to do something. Number 2. Full-on Attack Kim Youngblood, a 45-year-old woman from Reading, Pennsylvania, was attacked on her own front porch by a man in a clown suit. It was 2.30 a.m. and Youngblood was sitting on the front porch of her apartment smoking a cigarette when a man wearing a clown mask and holding a blunt object approached her. She began to scream and he grabbed her abruptly by the neck. He slightly choked her as he said, I should just kill you now. Youngblood begged for her life but the masked freak's only response was, 
Some students and teachers would never wish they were born at the junior and senior high school tomorrow. He was referring to the local junior and senior high schools, which police immediately reported to local superintendents. A loud beeping, possibly an alarm or a cell phone from a neighbor's window startled the clown and he pushed young blood down before fleeing. The victim was taken to a hospital for observation but had no serious injuries. This threat caused schools to shut down as students were advised to stay home and out of public dangerous areas. Number 1. Boy Chased by Knife-Wielding Clown A 14-year-old high school student from Columbus, Ohio was faced with a nightmarish morning one day on his way to school. The student was walking from his home to his bus stop when a man wearing all black and a clown mask began to chase after him. The student claimed that the clown emerged from a nearby parking lot and yelled out for the boy to stop. He was also allegedly holding a knife in one hand as he raced after the teenager. The victim was able to throw a large rock at the clown's head, which slowed him down enough for the boy to make it to his bus stop and board the bus, which was going in the opposite direction. The teen reported the incident to his bus driver, as well as his principal, as soon as he got to campus. Police are patrolling the area in which the attack occurred as similar incidents involving teens and children continue to sweep the nation. These strange clown happenings have led to the closing of several schools across the nation, as well as nearly every police department making some statement in relation to clown safety. Halloween stores have begun pulling clown-related costumes off their shelves to help prevent the spread of crimes. Many think this hoax is some violent promo for the upcoming IT movie. However, the directors and producers have claimed they have no involvement with these untimely attacks. As for now, the clowns are mostly creeping around with actual crimes being rare in isolated cases. But it's still important to remain vigilant and safe this Halloween. If you plan on dressing as a clown for the holiday or you somehow think it's a good idea to join in on the viral joke, just keep in mind that the police are not taking this lightly. Furthermore, as this problem grows, citizens are taking matters into their own hands, such as shooting at the masked pranksters and even ganging up on them and beating them. Please be safe this October and thanks for watching.